Hi, in this video, we are going to begin the TSQL. So far in this video series, we have covered the various concepts of SQL like DDL, DML, DQL and so on. But from now, we will start dealing with the transactions. But make sure before getting started with this, you have a very good understanding of SQL. As in TSQL also, we are going to use all the SQL commands. So let's talk about the TSQL. Basically, it stands for Transact SQL. SQL means Structured Query Language. But apart from that SQL, we will also use the Transact means Transactions. Transactions basically ensures a complete process. That means, for example, if I'm transferring some amount from my bank account to my friend's bank account, there will be a couple of update statements. For example, the first update statement will deduct the amount from my account and the second update will add the amount to my friend's account. Now, in this particular scenario, we want to ensure the consistency. For example, if the amount got deducted from mine but is not added to my friend's account, that will not be a consistent transaction because that amount is in inconsistent state. So, ensuring those things here will start working with the transactions where it will ensure either the complete or nothing will happen. Alright, so basically this transaction is going to make your SQL even more powerful in the sense like it will add the procedural programming features in SQL. SQL is itself a very powerful language as it is a fourth generation language and it does the most important part of your application that is it fetches the data from the database but apart from that if we will add the programming features it will make it even more powerful like defining the variables the control statements like if statement or some loops creating the functions calling them on a particular event all such things can be done in this particular transact sql Apart from that, as I said, it will ensure data consistency. Data consistency, which we have already discussed in the example. Apart from that, it will support the exception handling. Suppose, meanwhile, a transaction is going on, some server issue occurs. So, obviously, it will, the transaction will roll it back and nothing will take place. But this termination should be proper. And we can ensure that proper termination from the exception handling. It makes your code modular as while working with the transaction we will be creating a number of functions or procedures so each function and procedure could be independent of each other so if in a complete code you are using a couple or more procedures and you want to make changes in one it will not affect the other code so it is more modular and you it also helps in maintaining the batches batches is nothing but simply the set of sql commands which you want to execute on a single go using the go keyword but in this video it's just about the introduction of tsql in our next video we will start working the implementation of the transact sql 